Hey guys, I've had a few questions on replug and what it is, so I thought I'd just quickly show it to you. This is the upgrade for the Content Studio Black Friday sale. I bought it as an upgrade on another sale they had previously. Um, I think it was their launch. Anyway, so here's replug. You can see in the front, it's got all the analytics for all your links. So it can tell you where the countries are coming from, the visitor referral, all those sorts of things. Most of mine are in Australia, some in the United States, some Canada. All right, so what you do is it's, it's designed to put call to actions on your links. So when you send out links either manually or automatically through Contact Studio, then this is how you add your call to action or your retargeting pixel. So we'll do a call to action. You do a new call to action. You add your brand name. This is what comes out down here. So let's do that. Oh, oh what have I done there? Here we go. Okay, then your website. I'm just going to type in my website because this will be a faster way to add it than to type it out. Because my website name is too long. <laughs> All right, then just choose the file for your name, I mean for your photo, and keep going. Then you can do a button. This is the button here. You can do a link. That's it as a link. Form, it turns it into a form or retargeting. Or you can do a third party widget. And these are the ones it integrates with. So you can go and design the widget in, go and design your call to action in these one of these other ones like Sumo and then it will pull it in so that when you go to automate your calls to action it can do it through this. All right so with the button that is the social button. There's a banner button here um, that makes it go to the bottom. There's an exit intent. There's a pop-up. You can put a picture in here. Let's just make up a picture there. And then you change your headline and the message in the next one. A scroll box. And it, you have the same options all the way along. So this is the social with the link instead of the button. The banner with the link instead of the button. The exit pop-up with the link instead of the button. The pop-up with the link instead of the button. And the scroll. Okay, now let's do it. What you do is you, um, I've only got active campaign set up but you can integrate the others I'll show you where to do that in a minute um, if you don't know if you click on it, it takes you to it anyway then you select your email list and I've just made up an email list so I can use the form um, but so you can so you can see the form goes here you can put it like that as a banner as an exit intent as a pop-up as a scroll box and then retargeting with retargeting you have to put your retargeting information in here and again you've got these choices here so it's quite a lot of choices it's quite good because okay, so that's where you add integration code if you were going to add your um, oops I better go back because I pushed the retargeting all right so now we'll go oops I'll go back to what I was doing the button and I wanted it as a social all right, and then we go into the next one. Then your headline's here, so you could type something like welcome. Sign up here for your free, whoops, can't spell your, oh, my typing's terrible, your, your free, uh, report a uh, money report I'll say getting money organized report okay call to action is sign me up and for now I'll just put this as the just my Erlen, just put it. 
is where the link obviously clicks to, so it'll be your URL or your landing page or whatever. Then um, I, you can change all of these, but I'm just going to change the button background color. And if you do this, you can get more, you can use a dropper. I'm just going to pick that pink one, maybe, a, oh, I don't know about that one, maybe, maybe a little bit tighter pink. There we go. What you might want to do too is use the color picker and pick from the page you're putting it on so it stands out enough that people notice it, but not so much that it doesn't fit into the page. Okay, and then you can have it either exit intent or after so many seconds. I'm just gonna say one second. Actually, I think I would like it on the bottom right instead of the bottom left too. Oh, and I'm gonna take off the Powered by Replug. You, can, you have the option of taking all their branding off. That's super important. All right, so we've done that. We saved the call to action. Okay, and then this is where they show it to you on a site. See, it doesn't go with this site because it's pink, but I'll pick another site where it would go a bit better. Um, Good Deeds is an Australian buyer's agency. Um, they're fantastic and they, um, the lady there is really nice. She was on a show here called um, Location, Location, Location. Oh, I forgot to show it to you. You should be able to see this now. This doesn't always work when I preview it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if I've done something wrong. Come on, work. It didn't work that time, it usually does. All right, I don't know. Oh, I know why it hasn't worked. I didn't select it. Okay, so that's the one I just did. That's probably why it didn't work. Oh, wait a second. I didn't get to do it then because I saved it before I did it. All right, so let's now go and show you the link. I've just saved it. Paste and go to the link. So can you see why I did it that pink? Because it matches that. Um, but you could have done any of those. I could have had a pop-up, a thing. You don't want to look like it's belonging to the site, but you don't want to make it look like it's so different that it doesn't belong there either. So. Okay, so when I share, this woman's lovely. She does gives the best advice on property buying and her TV show is fantastic too. Um, everything she writes in a blog I love. So when I promote it, it'd be great to say, oh, and if, by the way, while you're looking at property, if you want to get your money organized as well, you can come to my link. So that's how that works. All right, so um, I'll finish that now. Okay, so now that link's there. That's it there. Um, so what you can do now is you can copy the link and you can send it anywhere or you can go into Content Studio and now I will show you how you can use it in here. So you've made a, you can either manually send it, add it to content you procure in here or you can automatically send it out. So let's say we're doing composing something. We'll compose a social media post say so posting now to Facebook. Do you have notes? Because that's a site that not many people go to. You can do something like search here for money. Say you found a great article and you wanted to add your link into it. Let's say, here, yeah, this girl here, quite like her, Denise. So say you put her there and then you wrote See, that's how it looks. So what you do is you make a comment because you don't want to just say this. I love loving Denise's tips. There we go. And I do love her tips too. They're great. Okay, so let's go to my Facebook. Here we are. And there it is. And you click on this link. Here we are down here. And it kind of goes with her site too because the pink matches with the pink. All right, so 
Um, obviously, you wouldn't do this if this article wasn't somehow related to what you're talking about. She's talking about how to hear relationship money, and I'm saying get your free money audit report. All right, so that's how that works now. If you wanted to automate it instead of, um, and you can still check it. Don't worry, I'd never automate something without checking it. Um, unless it's something like, things I'd automate without checking is something like, automating, letting people know if I'm about to do a Facebook Live or something like that, a notification automation would be fine with me. But automating your name uh, attached to someone else's things, you want to make sure that you're happy with what they're posting first. Even though they're from trusted sources, I'm always careful. Okay, so let's do a new campaign here. We'll call this um, new um, money campaign. Okay, then you select Facebook. We'll just do Facebook for now. There's all these other special. Okay, so then what you do is you'd include the domains like good deeds or something. But for now, let's just say money. Okay, and then enter. So you add it as a keyword. If you don't see it down here, the query builder won't work. And then you can add your other keywords in there, include domains, exclude domains. Okay, and then you go down here and you say call to action, replug call to action. So every time there's something with money and it's in a specific domain, you could do it or you could do it. This is going to be a bit, a lot more general than that. And then when you push next, oh wait a second, I'm going to call, select the call to action. So there's the call to action. So every time now, if it finds something from money, it will put your call to action on it. Then you can also put in custom hashtags. But what's really important for me is that and you can recur it you can do it as a custom you can do it as a queue how many hours how many days i'll say every three weeks okay run it continuously starting today and then the most important part for me is i'd like to review content before it's published because i don't want to make an automation that i can't check <laughs> you might want to though i don't know you might have different sources so now every time the keyword comes up in a particular site or for a, for just in general it will send something to your planner showing you one that you can then go back and approve later. So here's some posts that I can go and approve now and I can go in, delete them, look at them, make sure my call to action is suitable for them, change, maybe even change the call to action here if I want, but it's automatically added now here if I want it. Okay, so that's basically how um, Replug works and I'm super excited to show it to you and I'm going to see if I can get to interview someone from there, possibly on Facebook Live. If I can, I'll try and work out how to notify everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.